Are you completely over setting your alarm early in the morning just to take your temperature? And you've been wondering if the Aura Ring will be the solution for your fertility charting? In this video, I will either quench your curiosity or help you decide if it's worth the investment for your fertility or not. Hello, my lovely, and welcome to this video. And I'm so happy to finally be filming. It's pouring outside. It is a nice spring day, or it should have been. It was really sunny and warm yesterday. And I thought today, finally, I'm able to be doing this review on Aura for you. And then it's pretty much darker than the average winter day in the Netherlands. But don't stop me now. We're doing this. So before you purchase your Aura, you will be sent a little set with, not this, this is the box. Let me look for it. If you like it, why don't you shout a put a ring on it? Am I going to get in trouble with copyright? Maybe not if I don't sing any longer. Okay, so before you purchase your Aura ring, you will be sent this little set, which is really cute. And it feels wasteful too. Is there really no other way to do it? I guess it makes you feel like it is all very luxurious and you'll be able to kind of get a feel for like the little knobs inside if it's going to be uncomfortable and to make sure that you have the right size. Now, I don't even know what size I have. I think it's the smallest one. Yep, the smallest one. I have a six and it is... Okay, I don't have sausage fingers, but I'm not as slim as I used to be. So I do feel like the smallest size is probably going to be too big for some of you girls. There are plenty of options. Like this one doesn't even go on my thumb. Very convenient that you'll be able to feel what the ring feels like, although the real ring is a little bit heavier. And is it thicker? Nope, it's not thicker. Yeah, once you have tried uh, the, the, the sizing ring, you have a pretty good idea of whether the aura ring is going to be comfortable enough for you. So you could even consider wearing it for a day and see how it goes. Yeah, it feels pretty much the same. But even though the smallest size is a little bit big for me, the convenient part is obviously that when you hold on to a little bit of fluid and it's a little bit warmer or end of the day, it's not going to feel too tight. And even when it's looser, it still records just fine. We'll talk about the price later because I think we first need to talk about whether it is beneficial for your fertility or not before you can make a decision on whether the price is worth it or not. But the price ain't cheap. I can tell you that in advance, but you probably already knew that. Let's talk a little bit more about how comfortable it is to wear. I am known to take off all my rings and my watches. I've done that my entire life. And I forget that I do it, so I leave them everywhere. The only thing that hasn't been a bother to me has been my wedding ring because it's so freakingly well made by my sister-in-law. Sister-in-law? Cousin-in-law? Cousin-in-law. So this has never been a problem for me, but I was really surprised to find out that the Aura ring wasn't a bother to me either because I did expect that it would be the case. You can see it is a little bit thicker. I figured I was probably gonna be taking it off all the time. You can wear the ring under the shower, you can wear it in the pool, and you can even wear it in a sauna, which I thought was like kind of scary, but I tried it and it was no problem at all. I did take it off when I went into a magnesium bath because I felt like I'm sure the salt is not going to be good for this ring and when I take a shower I do take it off as well because I don't like soap getting behind it. But yeah, I think it's really comfortable to wear and doesn't bother me at night either. So you're going to want to know how accurate it is, right? Reason you want this ring is so you can take your temperature at night. That is not what it was initially made for. It's a health device and I think they started off with it reflecting how good your sleep is and your heart rate maybe. I don't know, I haven't followed the development of Aura, but what you can do with it is track your sleep. You can see how um, deep the device thinks you slept. Now, how accurate that is, I'm just never sure. I really am not, but it's going to give you an idea. Once you have a pattern of your sleep, you'll have an idea of whether it was a better sleep or a worse sleep. Sometimes the Aura app tells me in the morning, wow, you had amazing sleep. And I'm like, like really? <laughs> I was up with my kid with, an earache and I had to pee 67 times and you're telling me that my sleep was great and you want me to do some exercising today? Yeah, no, I'm taking a nap. It checks out your heart rate variability, which says something about how you're recovering. It can track your oxygen. Now, if you're interested in that stuff, I am pretty certain there are 
plenty of videos on that, so you can check that out. I'm gonna keep it at the fertility stuff, okay? For you to be able to use it as a fertility monitor to have your BBT, your basal body temperature, your temperature at rest, you're going to have to connect your Aura Ring to Natural Cycles. Natural Cycles has been around for ages. They've got their own device to take your temperature in the morning and they have their app and they have been created mostly to use it as a contraceptive. So they're all about creating as big of a fertility window as possible to make sure that you're not making love without any protection in a period that you could potentially be fertile. That is a little bit different when you are trying to conceive because you're going to want to get as close to ovulation as possible. You don't care about the bigger fertile window, you care mostly about that small fertile window. Yes, if you have a bit of a bigger fertile window, you want to make love in that a couple of times as well, but you're going to look at more than just your temperature. You're going to look at your cervical mucus. You're going to look at your ovulation test. Not only that, if you have a very irregular cycle, like a lot of my patients have, or very up and down temperatures and hormone imbalance, then the prediction of your fertile window by natural cycles, I'm sorry, it's not going to be ideal for you trying to conceive. I'm sure if somebody at natural cycles is watching this, they're going to be like, that's not true. We've got an amazing product and I'm sure that's the case. <laughs> My opinion is that using the natural cycles app for you to try to conceive when you probably have hormone imbalance or your cycles are irregular is not ideal because it does not look at cervical mucus, it does not look at ovulation tests. But you can use, of course, the temperature that the Aura Ring is recording. Is that temperature accurate? I think it's accurate enough. When I am looking at the temperatures that the Aura Ring has been giving me over the past year, they're very similar to what my temp drop would give me, and they're very similar to my BBT thermometer in the morning when my life wasn't so hectic. Right now, my sleep is so broken up still. And although I am two and a half years postpartum, <laughs> my life has not balanced out. It really has not. So for me, a wearable is really important to give me the most balanced reflection of my temperature at night. If I'm just going to use a thermometer early in the morning, once it's probably going to be like that, and it's not going to give me the information I want because my my adrenals are all over the place. So a wearable like temp drop on my arm or aura in that case is ideal. I also have the Samsung smartwatch that I am testing right now. And I must say so far, it's been giving me very similar temperatures, but that's for another video. I also have a couple of patients that have been using aura ring and then they connected it to natural cycle. So you can see, see the temperature because that's the thing. Even though Aura does take your temperature, it only shows if it's higher or lower than your average. It doesn't show you the actual number. And that is a real sucky thing that you have to connect it to natural cycles. I don't know if that's the case, but I suspect it's because natural cycles will only use the information that uh, shows the temperature during your sleep so that you have the BBT, the basal body temperature, and not the information throughout your whole day. That's what I suspect is the reason, but I haven't looked into it. Honestly, I don't really care. I just want to know if it's working for fertility charting. And that's what I'm telling you right here. The patients that have been using Aura Ring in this way and connecting it to natural cycles and then plotting their chart in Fertility Friend, I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second, seem very reasonable for their health. And some of them have also cross-checked it with a BBT thermometer and it all seems an accurate reflection of what's going on. And of course, Every device is going to give you a little bit of a different temperature. Also, depending on the moment that you're taking the temperature, for example, with your thermometer in the morning, if you take it two minutes later, it's going to be different again. It's really all about a pattern. Is it giving you the pattern that you need when you have ovulated and to tell you if you've got a hormone imbalance that you want to investigate or that you need to be improving for you to be able to fall pregnant naturally, right? That's the whole goal. That's the whole point. I already mentioned Fertility Friend, and yeah, that's my opinion. If you want to be using Aura Ring in a way that it's useful to you, for you to be tracking your fertility, to know about potential hormone imbalance or inflammation, or where you are at with your fertile window, how long your luteal phase is, if it's long enough for you to be holding on to a pregnancy, if your temperatures are stable enough, or if they're too erratic, you're also going to want to be tracking other things, especially your ovulation tests, 
especially cervical mucus. Of course, you can track some other things as well, like PMS or if you have ovarian pain. Obviously, your spotting and your period you're going to want to be tracking as well. And I don't think the Natural Cycles app is ideal for that. The way that things are plotted, it's not ideal. Not only that, if a temperature is considered by either Natural Cycles or, or I guess it's Natural Cycles that does this, if they think that the temperature is off, they're just gonna discard it. Hey, that's all great that you wanna do that, but I wanna be able to do that myself. I want to look at the temperature and think, hey, this is off. I wanna be able to cross check it with being ill. I wanna cross check it with alcohol if that's the case. If you've had a poor night, something else is going on. So I still want it on my chart. I don't want it to be crossed off. And then making it a better looking picture than maybe it is with those temperatures. Thankfully, Natural Cycles doesn't just completely discard it. They do show it the temperature on your list. So if you look at your list temperatures, it will be on there. So it's not plotted on your chart, but you can find the temperature and then it is crossed out. So you can still take that temperature and put it in a different fertility app. Or if you want to do it on paper, you can do that so that you have that information. I would recommend to put all those temperatures that you see in Natural Cycles in the Fertility Friend app. It is free. You can also upgrade to get some fancy details, but th the functionality is more than plenty in the free version. And then you can add your cervical mucus, your ovulation tests, uh, results, and lots of other things as well. If you have an at-home hormone test, like the Prove test, you can add that information. Or if you like to use Mira or anything along those lines, you can add in when you have had unprotected sex so that you can see if it was in your fertile window in retrospect and if there's a chance for you to be pregnant or not. And just the chart itself is just so much easier to read in one view. I don't feel that way about the Natural Cycles chart at all. If you only care about not falling pregnant because you want to avoid your first whole window, I think it's fine. But if you want to do some interpretation, like I show you on some of my modules, right? I've got the clues to your chart program in which you can figure out if there's a hormone balance going on for you. And if so, which one, then you're going to want a better type of chart plotting like on Fertility Friend. Now, I had also asked you on my social media if there were questions that you wanted me to answer about Aura and I got some great questions and one of them was about EMF, electromagnetic fields, because yes, all living things have radiation in one form or another, but obviously all our electronic devices, our phones, our, our uh, routers, our computers. And the question was, aren't you worried about EMF, electromagnetic radiation for your aura ring? And I was a bit worried about it, but I also kind of ignored it because I really wanted to test it and I kind of didn't want to know. But when I got this question, I thought, okay, I'm going to have to look into it now because it's important. <laughs> of course it's important. There are lots of different opinions when it comes to electromagnetic radiation, but I think in general, we can all agree that it's good to minimize it as much as we can. We know that there are health risks connected to them. The question is how big is the health risk when it comes to a ring like this? Does it, does it radiate at all? Well, the answer is yes, because there's Bluetooth connection with your phone, you can sync it. So yes, there's going to be electromagnetic radiation and how bad is it? Aura will tell you it is minimal and it doesn't pose any health risks. The biggest critics say, yeah, there's radiation and you're going to want to eliminate it. And thankfully with Aura, you can do that. You can put it on airplane mode through the app in your phone. So you can go to the settings in the Aura Ring app and then just select airplane mode and it's still going to record all the information you need. The benefit of that is also that the battery lasts a lot longer. My experience, I think it lasts about two to three days. The phone does tell you when your battery is running out, but if you have notifications off, you won't realize. And because it's so comfortable to wear, I just forget to charge it every now and then. Uh, but I should probably charge it every two to three days. When you put it on airplane mode, it'll probably last you for a week and then you can then sync it with your phone or in between you can sync it but just realize that each time you charge your ring that the bluetooth will be switched on again so you're going to have to turn the airplane mode on manually yourself but this is a great way to reduce uh, the emr so speaking of charging charging is a dream i feel like this is the easiest way to charge 
uh, any of the fertility devices I've had so far because it's got a very cute little charger and you just plop it right on there. And I don't know actually how long it takes to fully charge. Usually I will leave it on for an hour or two hours or so and it's fine to use for the night. So pricing, right? It's expensive, I told you. Well, is it expensive? It's a lot of money. Whether it's expensive is another question. How much do you pay for an Aura right now? Okay, so if you use the cheap one, oh, actually, long battery life, up to seven days. Yeah, we already knew that, up to. <laughs> if you leave the Bluetooth on, it's shorter people, you know that. Okay, so the cheapest version that has, it's not smooth like this one. A plateau design is what they call it. That one is 329 euros. The sleek version is 399. And then if you want to have a fancier color, you're going to pay more as well. And that's not it. That's not just it. And that is the thing that kind of bothers me, although I do understand it. It is a fancy device. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure it costs a lot of money to research it. And also they're constantly doing research to improve the app, but if you actually want to keep using it, you're also stuck with a six euro a month membership to use the app. So if I don't want to pay for that anymore, I might as well just bin this because I can't use it anymore. And then if I want to read the actual numbers for the temperature, I'm going to need natural cycles, which is another five euros a month. So using this ring is going to cost at least 11 euros a month for your fertility. So. Of course, this fancy little gadget is really convenient, but do you need it for your fertility charting? No, you don't. You really don't. It can be almost free. You can get very cheap ovulation tests. You can get a very cheap basal body thermometer and then take your temperature with an alarm in the morning. I started off like that. Most of my patients started off like that. It's all you need to get an idea of when your fertile window opens and when it closes to see if your charts are healthy enough for you to be conceiving quite easily naturally or if there is some work to do, if there's hormone imbalance going on or inflammation or ovulation isn't timely and so on. I teach you this on your fertile window and it's completely for free so you can get started there. Now with all of that information, the fact that it's comfortable to wear, that the natural sex sales app is not great to use, that you don't have to charge it so often, that it's got a cute charger, that you can put it on airplane mode and the battery lasts you longer and then there's no EMR and that you don't have to set an alarm anymore in the morning. Are all of these things worth the price for you? I would love to know in the comments, do you have an aura ring already? Have you been considering it? And did this video help you to make a decision? Do you think it's worth the money or are you just going to continue with the beep? Or temp drop, of course. I've got a review on temp drop. It's cheaper than this and you don't have ongoing costs. If you want to see that video, go ahead and click on the thumbnail on your screen right now and see you in the next video. Bye.